Well, thank you so much for keeping it right here on The Buzz UG. Uh, my name is uh, Melaz Milo, a.k.a. Fuller, and... Uh, just in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Uh, but also follow me on TikTok. I'm uh, Melads Milo, aka Fuller. Now, I have come to give you an update on what is happening in uh, Bobby Wine's camp. Uh, definitely, if you're on the internet, you must be seeing what is happening in uh, Bobby Wine's camp. Well, Bobby Wine is in uh, Western Uganda to open another national unity platform office, rather. And uh, Bobby Wine was uh, welcomed so big time in uh, the city of Mbarara. Oh, man, people love Bobby Wine so big time. And, uh, you know, very many people in uh, President Museveni's camp have been saying that Bobby Wine has no support in a western part of the country. They think uh, because uh, President Museveni comes from uh, that side of uh, western Uganda, so Bobby Wine has no support that side. But, trust me, people really showed that they love Bobby Wine that side of the country. They appreciate whatever he's doing, as you can see in that video right there. So, when Bobby Wine arrived in Barara City. He went to Radio and Gito and uh, addressed the people in the remote areas that side. But unfortunately before the show ended, Radio and Gito was switched off. Yes, Radio and Gito was uh, switched off. We don't know why it was uh, switched off. But of course, uh, Bobby Wine said that uh, those are President Museveni's games. Yeah, but of course uh, uh, good enough, very many people were following online, on internet. I think over 2,000 people were watching online. Yes, so uh, he wasn't bothered at all. At the end of the day, the message reached uh, to the intended people. Yes, yeah, so from uh, Radio Ndigito, he went to open the office uh, in, in Mbarara City. And uh, from there, he went to a playground, I think, around the city. And uh, he addressed the people right there. But of course, uh, people really showed that they love Bobby Wan, they love NUP. And uh, for me, the highlight of the day has been, uh, you know, police not intervening in any way. Uh, they only guided and provided provided security. You know, if you remember very well, previously Bobby Wine was not allowed to do something like this, but uh, today he was allowed by Uganda police. No tear gas was fired. So for me, I want to say big up on yourselves, Uganda police. And actually, uh, today, the spokesperson of uh, Uganda police, that is uh, Mr. Fred Nanga, said that uh, they are not going to allow open rallies. Yes, they are not going to allow open rallies. So if Bobby Wine is, um, you know, planning to do something like that, definitely you expect to see bullets. You expect to see tear gas, uh, you know, um, happening in a different parts of the country in this program that they have called uh, NUP Countrywide Tour. Well, I think uh, tomorrow Bobby Wine will be heading to Fort Porto. And uh, from Fort Porto, he'll be heading to Kasese. Then uh, from that side to uh, Lira, to Busia. Arua and other parts of the country. Yes, so uh, right here on the Buzz UG, we wish him all the best. Yes, so uh, basically that's what happened in uh, Bobby Wine's camp today. We hope uh, tomorrow it's going to be the same that side of uh, Fort Porto. And uh, definitely all the updates will be coming your way right here on the Buzz UG. What you have to do, subscribe in case you haven't, and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Uh, don't forget to follow me the other side of TikTok. I'm Melads Milo, aka Fuller. And it is a bye for now. Thank you. Oh my God! Chino chintu chirala nyo, chirala nyo, gomuganda wange.